Matthew mm -hmm. chapter 16, 1 through 7. We're going to see how he says this. And the Lord said unto Samuel, And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for, the, for Saul? Samuel, he got to tell him to stop mourning for Saul. He had a job for Samuel to do. Sometimes we as preachers, we moan for people. Sometimes God be done took his hand off of him, but we yet moan for him. He said, how long you going to moan for Saul? Mm -hmm. Let's see what Samuel came to his sister and God told him that. Now look what he said. Seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel. Who rejected him? God. God rejected him. He could no more reign over Israel. Amen. Come on. Amen. Some people cannot be in a position that we think they ought to be and we still think they ought to. Amen. Amen. God rejected it. Amen. It had nothing to do with man. Mm -hmm. But Saul had a love. <coughs> Samuel had a love for Saul and Saul. He had a love for him. That's his emotion. Yeah. See, I'm learning now. I got to get my emotion out of the way. I cry. I pray. I say, Lord, I don't know what else to do with him. When you walk out, I'm, I keep saying, when you walk out that door, come out under the cover, you open for the target and end your snatch your life. Yes. No matter what it looked like, seemed like, if you broke down pensions or whatever, stay in the rain. Amen. God know when he time for me to line you up. Because there's a reason why you being this, in this position is to get some stuff off of you so he can position you. Amen. My God, I hear the Holy Ghost. You can't do a work till you get committed to your own self. Amen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you got to be committed to yourself. That's right. Because you do wrong to yourself. When you come out under the, I'm under the will of God yourself, how can you tell me to stay up under that? Right. <laughs> Y'all, is that making sense? Mm -hmm. So God began to tell him. Then now look what has happened. Fill thy horn with oil mm -hmm. and go. I will send thee to Jesse, the Bethlehem, the Bethlehem. For I have provided me a king among his sons. So He giving him the instruction what to do. Now I got I done I done found all the king. I, I know who I want. Amen. Just do what I tell you to do. Fill the all up. And I'm gonna send you out. So we got to learn as believers or leaders that no matter how people feel, I'm gonna say this in here. I don't care how y'all feel, what I do, I don't care. Amen. Either you will believe in me or trust me or you by faith and follow me or you will walk out the door. Amen. You either for me or against me. That's how I said that this morning. Amen. That's how I feel. Yes. I'm telling y'all from my heart. I ain't telling you behind my back. Amen. I'm in front of you. Amen. You either for me or you against me. Amen. So. God telling me to feel all of them. Alright, look what does he say? And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it. If Saul hears it, he, he, so he about concerned Saul. about who? Saul. Saul. He worried about Saul. If Saul hear it. That's why God's word cannot get where it needs to go. We too much worried about how folks Other think. People. What people think. See, he was concerned. He thought Saul was going to take him out. Mm -hmm. Look what he said. He will kill me. <laughs> and the Lord said, Take a heifer with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. Now he told him what the Lord told him what to do. Now I'm gonna show you how to get past Saul. Now that he see everything. Amen. 
He see the concern how you feel about something. He'll get you around your own enemy. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Let us see. And call Jesse to the sacrifice. Now he told him to call who to the sacrifice? Yes. He wanted Jesse at the sacrifice. My God. Jesse had all them sons. <laughs> all right, look what he said. And I will show thee what thou shalt do. Now he said, now I'm going to show you what to do. Now you just call Jesse to the sacrifice. And I'm going to show you. Come on. And thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee. Now he said, now would you know who I tell you to anoint? Mm -hmm. You don't put nobody nowhere if I didn't tell you to put them. Amen. Just cause somebody they be tired, don't you put them in there. Amen. Just cause they got a big name, don't you put them there. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He told them. Okay, look what else he said. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake. Samuel did what the Lord spoke. Come and on. came to Bethlehem, mm -hmm. and the elders of the town trembled at his coming. Now, they trembled at his coming. They was a, ooh, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. All right. And said, comest thou peaceably? Now, he won't well know you're coming peaceful to us. Mm -hmm. They thought he was coming with stuff, going to put a speak a rap on him. Come in peace with us. Oh. And he said, peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. He told me, I come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves. Now you tell him what? Sanctify yourselves. So we need to do what? Sanctify ourselves. Sanctify ourselves. And come with me to the sacrifice. Now you told him, come with me to the sacrifice. All right, you know, Jesse, come on. Let's see what's going to happen. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. Now he sanctified, then he called them to the sacrifice. All right, look what happened. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliah and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. Okay, should the Lord have not been before, before him. All right, look what happened. Verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance. See, Samuel was looking at how big he was and mighty, husky. See, we look at people. <laughs> That's where we are. We look for the big pack that sometimes is in the small pack. That's right. <laughs> David was a small pack. God. Was looking for the heart. David was committed here. He was small in stature, but he had a big heart. Amen. Some of us is big in stature and got a greedy heart. Amen. So God looking at the heart. See, he ready to set this house up. But see, obedience is better than sacrifice. Some of y'all going to have to be set and sit down and listen and be taught to get ready for what God's going to do. Amen. And God sometimes ain't going to use me to do it. It's going to be somebody else. Yes. Come here. I want y'all to see this. Okay, now look what he said. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look, look not, not on his countenance. Don't look on his countenance. Or on the height of his stature. Don't look at the height of his stature. Because I have refused him. He said, I refused him. <laughs> God refused him. Amen. It wasn't me. Something God will refuse. <laughs> That's in the word. Amen. He refused him. Now look what God wants. Now look what he said. For well, the Lord seeth not as man seeth. God don't see as you see it. Amen. You don't see it. You don't see it the way you see it. Yeah. <laughs> My God. He don't, the way I see you, he don't see you that way. Amen. See, y'all need to stop looking at y'all y'all self in the way that y'all should be looking at yourself. Because you need to ask God, what you see? Amen. <laughs> what do you see? That's why I tell God, God, you see more than I see. Amen. You can see me young, but I cannot see. 
come up. I was talking about myself. Well, he was telling me, God, I'm, I'm this. But he didn't see me the way I see me. Come on. Y'all can see this. For well, man looketh on the outward appearance. Man look where? Well, on the outward, outward appearance. appearance. Look at the outward appearance. For what God does. But the Lord looketh on the heart. God looketh on the heart. He don't look at the out. He looks at the heart. If it ain't what he says in the heart, he refuses. it. So I need to line up the way he feel about me with his heart. Mm -hmm. My God. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's oh, the Southern Chronicle 28. Oh, do name. First Chronicle. Mm. First, first Chronicle. First Chronicle. First Chronicle 28, 4 through 9. I like what God does with things. Now we know he did day. Alright? He chose day. Now look how he turned around with the generation of day. His sons. <laughs> First Chronicle. Tw chapter 28, 4 through 9. Howbeit the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he had chosen Judah to be the ruler and of the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he likened me to make me king over all Israel. That's David talking. First Chronicle 28 chapter, fourth verse down to nine. Got it? I want, I want nobody to get lost. He left David and went to his sons. Don't y'all see how God can choose your children to complete the work that you could do. So you need to get your house in order so your kid can be blessed from... Yes. That's right. That's right. Come on. Yes, Lord. Now look what he says. And of all my sons, for the Lord has given me many sons. God, there's a boy here gave me many sons. He has chosen Solomon, my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord so, over Israel. So he chose who? Solomon. He chose Solomon. God always something. How can I put it? In your family is always somebody in your family that God look at that is different than you know the children in the family. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all got brothers and sisters that are more gifted than you are. But that don't mean God don't love you more. He just called them for a different purpose. Now say it time. Come on. So we need to stop being who? Jealousy, envy, strive against one another. But embrace the gift that the person has. Yes. <laughs> All right, look what he said. And he said unto me, Solomon thy son, he shall build my house and my courts. For I have chosen him to be my son. And I will be his father. See, he chose to be my son. And my and he will be his father. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's a close relationship. Right. Yeah. All right, look what he said. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever. Mm -hmm. If he be constant 
to do my commandments and my judgments as at this day. So that means Solomon had anything he wanted, Lord, he obeyed what God said. And now, he know your heart. If you obey what God said, there's nothing like it in your life that you ain't going to have. Amen. But you got to line up. It ain't because you ain't got it. It ain't there. It's just you ain't lined up to get it. Amen. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Come on. Now, therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God, mm -hmm. that ye may possess this good land and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. If you stay what? Line up. Line up. And keep the command. You got something to hair to lead to your kids. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for so much. I thank God. That's my heart desire for my kids. Amen. My mom and daddy didn't didn't run line in there. They didn't leave us nothing. Amen. 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 They didn't leave us nothing. We have more than our parents had. Because they wouldn't have it. I'm being honest with you. So I want you to look at you. Line up. So you can leave something for your kids. All right, come on. And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father. And serve him with a perfect heart. Now Solomon going to serve him with what kind of heart? A perfect, perfect heart. So you need a what? Perfect, perfect heart. A perfect heart. Look at y'all. God must know the motives of your heart. Your heart got to be a perfect heart. All right, come on. And with a willing mind. A perfect heart and what kind of mind? A willing, a willing mind. mind. Not a washy mind. <laughs> a willing mind. You got to have a willing mind. All right, come on. For the Lord searches all hearts. He searches <coughs> dead my heart. All, all hearts. He searches all hearts. And understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. He know all the imagination of your thoughts. He know every thought you think. <laughs> come on. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. He said, if thou seek him, he will be what? Found. He will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee what? All forever. He will. You don't pay me no ticket, I ain't gonna pay you no ticket. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. You don't have time for me, I ain't got time for you. Right. Amen. Ain't the baby we holler when we in trouble. Amen, all the time. He tell you, if you ain't got time for me, I ain't got time for you. <laughs> That's what he's saying, ain't Okay. This, this little, little fun. I, I, I ain't going to do the half of that. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to do 10 before we turn. Look what it said. I meant, I meant to put that down. Just do verse 10 on this. Stay right where you at. Take heed now. Take, now, see, he tell you. Take heed now. For well, the Lord hath chosen thee to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. So he telling you, take heed now. The Holy Spirit came in here this morning. Amen. So he telling y'all this morning, take heed now. <laughs> Pay attention. I got something I want y'all to do. <coughs> And I don't want no washing. Mm. Okay. I don't want no mixed up. Right. <laughs> you either gonna do? Oh yeah. Get on the sideline. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Take heed now, for the Lord has showed thee to build and." house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do what? Do it. Do it. 
He said, be strong. He didn't say be weak, bad. <laughs> Now be strong. I want to, he said, I want no weak back. Right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I want this kind of head. Right. I, I want the one side of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know. That one side. I want you strong. Right. Ain't this good? Yes. yes. It, it don't feel good, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> Let me know where I'm at. It's good. <laughs> All right, let's go to Psalm 7. Psalm 7, 8 and 9. Psalm 7, 8 and 9. The Lord shall judge the people. Who going to judge you? The Lord. The Lord going to judge you. Yes. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness. So he going to... David was telling God to judge him according to his righteousness. So God going to judge you according to your righteousness. And according to my integrity. And according to my who? Integrity. My integrity. That is in me. That is in me. If I, he gonna judge me according to how I am, what I am, what I do, how I act, how much I'm committed. That's what you're gonna get judged. Yeah. God's gonna judge you according to these things. My God. Look what I said. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. So he said, let the who come to the end? Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. So the wicked going to come to what? An end. So I'm going to get out of my what? Self. self and get out of myself and get out of my wicked way. Because it's going to come to an end. <laughs> Some stuff that you thought felt comfortable to you, you better cut it off. Bet you it ain't pleasing to God. Stop trying to please people. Cut it off. Cut them off. If they ain't falling the line, you fall it. And they ain't all the way on your side like you said you ain't righteous. And you still trying to hug them. I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> I'm Papa Scott. <laughs> you know, I'm right, right. I'm left. <laughs> Trying to please my friends. But they're not your friend if they're not a righteous <laughs> What I mean, you be not, but you don't fall in the category with them to keep them to be your friend. Jesus never kept a Pharisee friend. Amen. Amen. Shout out to My Lord. Hey, that Pharisee, that's a good one. <laughs> they came out to press, baby. Ooh. I received that, Lord. Come on, y'all. I ain't got no friend now. He didn't have no friend. He didn't have a Pharisee friend. Uh-uh. He said, I came to fulfill the law. He said, I was the law. Right. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. Yes. Right. Then what else he say? But establish the jest. He gonna do what? Establish, establish the jest. He gonna establish the jest. He gonna establish you. That means you on a solid foundation. Yes. While you wobbling right. on the foundation. Right. Or a little faith. All right. For the righteous, 
God trieth the hearts and reigns. So, <laughs> but the righteous, God tries the heart and reigns. So he's going to see you still solid. See you still trust me. It ain't going to take you out, but I'm going to put a little stuff there. See if you're going to stay with me or you're going to back off me. Come on, y'all. That's what he's saying. Hallelujah. That's one thing about a female Eve. When she get a mate, she just don't take him because she's sin. Mm -hmm. She throw a piece of wood down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seeking to catch her. Seeking if he satisfy her if her baby fall out the nest when he catch her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what God said. I'm, I'm gonna, my, I, I just solid on my fine name. I'm going to see if you're going to stick with me when the light be a do and, and just before time for the cut off it. Oh, you're going to still say thank you, Jesus. All right, That's right. Amen. Thank you. Are you going to lift your bills up more than you do me? Yeah. That's right. Amen. Uh oh. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I ain't coming to church because she preaching this faith stuff and ain't that happened to me. I ain't getting nothing. No, you ain't getting nothing sitting there home. You getting nothing till you're dying. You come in here, you get it. Right. 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 Yeah. Come on, y'all. Amen. So he tried. He tried to walk. My God. Thank you. Let's go to Psalm. 139, 23 through 24. 139, Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Search me, O oh God. I read that. David said, Search me. He coming it off. David wanted to be what? Searched. How <laughs> many can say, Search me? David wanted to be searched. He was willing for God to search him. So he can get the wickedness out of him. So I'm going to stop holding on to my hidden stuff. Amen. That's right. Yes, yes. Come on. That's what he did. Search me. If something come up, hit you. If I'm preaching something and hit you, don't want to press it. Amen. If you don't want to holler a lot, just say, Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you still witness it? Everybody ain't got to know it. Right. See, some of y'all don't even know how to do things in secret. He said, I'll watch you home. And some hit me sometimes, and he hit me. I said, Ooh. My grandma stopped me. I, I won't move my body. Look. Oh, my. I ain't denying. I just didn't speak it out of my mouth, but I put an action to it. Yeah. Some of y'all sit up and like it. <laughs> like it never. David says, search me. Search me. Okay. And know my heart. He says, search me and know my heart. So he wanted God to know his heart. Amen. Know my heart. Some of us. Lord, I remember time telling myself, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do.